Hey. Good. Hey, I need you to do me a favor. Okay. What do you need? I am out of town. I'm taking my family up to the sand dunes in Idaho, and I just had a job come in uh, about to gun lock, truck stuck in the mud, and I need you and Holly to go get it. Well, I'm standing on the side of the road in Colorado, but I think I can hurry up and get there and go take care of it for you. <laughs> Okay. Can I take the Morver? You can take the Morver. It's gassed up and ready to go, I think. You don't need to check it. I'm pretty sure it's full. Okay, we'll go ahead and fuel it up for you. No problem. I'm going to teleport myself to Utah. Over and out. All right, thanks. My name is Robbie Layton, and I'm flying on a magic carpet. I just talked to man who needs my help in Hurricane Utah. So I'm teleporting on my magic carpet and I'm gonna go get them out. All right, so guess what? <laughs> so many jobs, Matt can't even get to them all. So when Matt's busy, he knows who to call. Me. So we're gonna seize the opportunity. This is the first time we've been able to take the Morbear out solo without Matt. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna fill it up. That's the type of friends we are, is we don't let our friends run out of gas on our watch. Without even looking, I already know it's on empty. Skip, skip, gonna be filling it up. We should, we're doing a premium on this baby, right? Yeah. Dude, don't mess around. So it completely makes sense why Matt never puts gas in this. This might seem like two seconds to you guys, but literally we've been here for 25 minutes trying to put gas in this thing. I have to shave again by the time I'm done doing this. If I could grow a beard, I'd have a full face of hair right now. Did you notice I've been working on my beard? Look at that. I'm practically a full grown man. So we met up with Holly. We stopped. We got some fuel. We gassed up the Morver and we are on our way out. I don't even know where it's at. I've got a pin following Skeeter and Holly up in the blue steel. It is 96 degrees down here in St. George. We're going to go try to get him out. We made it to Gunlock and we found Joe. So we've got to go about a quarter of a mile back and then we've got to go all the way around to the other side to get to his vehicle. So we're going to unload the Morver and go around. There's a couple families out here just having a good time and they had a couple razors, but they were just truck, truck, trucking along. Couldn't quite yank me out. So here we are, called Matt's Off-Road Recovery. Southbound, turn off, you'll hit to the right. It's rocky for the next 100 meters and then it goes like rock and sand. So what we're thinking, he's in the mud. It's been here since about three o'clock. So rather than hooking up and just yanking it out, it's got quite a bit of suction. So we're gonna double winch it. I'm gonna hook on one tow hook, Holly's gonna be on the other, and we're just gonna simultaneously pull him and get that thing out of the mud. That way we don't break anything. He'll be driving this out here pretty quick, but it is getting dark, so we wanna get moving quick. Your exhaust is treading water. So I'm gonna take the passenger side tow hook, Holly's gonna take the driver's side, and we're gonna get this thing winched out. I'm just putting my little winch on, you know. Your little winch? A little winch. I did see you got that worn winch. The worn winch. Oh wow, that's fancy schmancy. What kind of high tech touch screen stuff is that? It's just very high tech. Ladies first. I know what I'm doing, guys. Why do you think Matt calls me? Uh, oh. oh no, we're stuck. I'm stuck! Yes. Does anyone have boots that wants to go in here? Call your wind flying bike. The best part about this is the water smells like cow poop. <laughs> like what? Like cow poop, like cow poop, like cow poop.
right, so we've got to get back out from where we came. We got a little bit of a trail ride back out of here, but we're gonna follow him out. That way we make sure that he gets out and then we'll get it all loaded up. So using a borrowed vehicle with an expert made this easy. So we got him all winched out. He took off. He's out. Yeah, He's he, out of here. He was like, like thank you. Goodbye. Let's head on Job over. Job well done. High five. That worked out super awesome. We were thinking about using the rope, but given the situation where he was stuck in water, he's been here all day, I just didn't want to risk damaging anything. So we did what we felt was best, and it was best. It got him right out. We got him back up onto the dry dirt. He took off. Now we're trying to get out of here. As viewers, you watch this more bear in action. It is even better in person than it is on your TV screen. Never given the opportunity Make sure and borrow it from Matt. All right, so everything went awesome. We got him out. Now we gotta do the map part. So, what nice shirt do you wear? XL. I've been recovered. There you go. Okay. Woo Perfect. All right, so as always, we appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one. Right by that guy. Straight, yep. Passenger. Straight, driver. Straight, passenger.